Hello, I'm Rob. Are you looking for ways to recover deleted files or folders in Windows 11? Then this is the right video for you. The way you delete files in Windows determines how you go about recovering them. The most common ways to delete a file or folder in Windows 11 is right-clicking the file and choosing Delete from the context menu, selecting the file and pressing the Delete key on your keyboard, selecting the file and using the Shift plus Delete option to remove it from your computer permanently. The first two methods send the file to the recycle bin first, while the third option bypasses the recycle bin and removes the file completely. But don't worry, it's often possible to recover all types of deletions. When you delete files with those methods, you only remove the entry and not the files themselves. The Windows operating system just marks the space available, but it doesn't completely erase them. They're usually still around somewhere. If you need to undelete files, you should stop using your hard drive to avoid data overwriting. Then, take any of the following methods to recover deleted files in Windows 11. When you delete files or folders using the delete feature, they are just moved into the recycle bin, which is basically another folder. As long as you haven't emptied the recycle bin, you can restore data easily. Find the recycle bin icon on your desktop. Right click recycle bin and select open. Find the files you want to restore. If there's lots of data in the recycle bin, you can search for a specific file or folder. Right click the file and choose restore to recover the deleted file to its original location. If you need to restore multiple files, you can click manage on the top toolbar and choose restore the selected items or restore all items. Windows offers users a free backup utility called file history. It helps backup files to a local or network drive or an external drive, such as USB. If it's enabled, you can use it to get your files back. File history only backs up files that are in certain system folders, including documents, pictures, music, videos, and desktop folders, as well as OneDrive files available offline on your PC or laptop. If you have files or folders elsewhere that you want to back up, you can add them to any of these folders. Once you enable file history, over time, you'll have a complete backup of your files. When you accidentally delete important files, or if the original file is corrupted or damaged, you can restore them from the backups. Search for file history and select restore your files from file history. All the backup files and folders will appear in the file history window. If there are multiple backup versions, you can switch to a different one by clicking the left and right arrows at the bottom of the window. Choose a version that contains the lost files. Preview the selected file if necessary. Then click the green arrow to restore them. If Recycle Bin has been emptied and you weren't able to get the files back with file history, your best option is to use data recovery software. The EaseUs Data Recovery Wizard is safe and reliable to store files on your Windows and Mac computer. It supports recovering deleted files from all storage devices. Download it from the link in the video description and install it. Choose the file location and then click the scan button to continue. It'll start to find files. Select the deleted files and other lost file folders in the left panel. Then, you can apply the filter feature or click the search files or folders button to find the deleted files. Click the recover button and save the restored files. Ideally, it should be a different drive from the original one as it can override other recoverable files if you save it to the same drive. That's all there is to it. The EaseUs Data Recovery Wizard is easy to use and a powerful recovery software to help you get your files back. I hope you were able to recover your files. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time with some useful tips. Bye for now.